Hi, this is Manik from Boxcar Marketing with your marketing tip for today. And today's tip is about how to use Facebook audience insights for research. When you go to facebook.com slash ads slash audience hyphen insights, this is the tool that I use as a way to kind of do a hack on audience research, market research. You have two options. You can either look at people who are connected to your page or everyone on Facebook. Now, typically if I'm going to run an ad or I'm researching international markets or even the domestic market, I wanna find a new audience, not people already connected to me. So I'm gonna choose everyone on Facebook. Now, what we have are a couple of things around location, this sort of basic demographic information, and then a bunch of things that we can do around interests. So for example, if I am marketing the next dog man title in Canada and the US, then what I wanna do is find, well, where is that audience that's interested in comic books, maybe in manga, and I wanna see what Facebook knows about that audience. So I can see it's quite a large audience, 35 million people. And the demographic information shows me, oh, you know, maybe this myth that we've had for a while that comics are for single adult men, we can see, yes, it does still skew towards men, but we've got a really healthy audience of women here as well, especially if we're looking at this kind of 18 to 44 year old market. And actually, quite a number of them are married. And yes, there are a number of them that are single as well. They've got strong uh, education in terms of college educated. And Facebook provides us some information about the job title based on either self-reported data or other, other information they have. So this can be interesting for really highly targeted ad campaigns. Um, but what I also like to do here is say, okay, well, what I care about sometimes is the other pages liked. This tells me a little bit more about this audience and their affinity, things that they like in addition to comic books and manga. So I can see top categories, Marvel, very strong superhero audience, the films come to play in that. If I am you know, thinking about my stereotypical male comic book reader, then video games, so Call of Duty, some humor like The Onion and Dollar Shave Club, just like a little bit of edgy humor there. And we've got some sports fans and pop drinkers. It's kind of reinforcing my myths about uh, the comic book reader. But what I could do is say, you know what, show me what that looks like, only the women. Show me only my female audience there. How does that change what they're interested in? You know what, looks like there's a dark sense of humor here regardless. So The Onion um, or, or some other kind of uh, off, <laughs> slightly off color. And it is helpful if you're thinking about positioning a title in the market. Even if we think about Dogman, it's a lot of uh, potty humor that's happening there for that younger kid audience. We have some location information, which is helpful if we're sending an offer on tour or we want to do marketing very localized. This can give us some insights into, you know, where do we send an author in, in Canada or what does that look like in the U.S.? Where do we have large, um, large sizes of audience? And if we're marketing in different languages, then um, that would be helpful there. The activity section is telling us, is this audience the kind of audience that's going to like, comment, and share. So if we are doing social media posts, what are they going to do? Are they going to be compelled to click on that ad? This helps us with our targeting. Do we want a campaign objective around engagement? Or do we want a campaign objective around sending traffic to a site? Or do we want people who are going to convert? So this is some of the information that Facebook is alluding to here and also helping us understand whether we want those ads to appear mobile only or mobile and desktop. Again, it's other targeting considerations. Now, one of the other ways that I like to use this information is to compare. So if I knock out that audience interested in Marvel, what does that mean for me in terms of those audience 
demographics, if we're just talking about manga. What does that look like if I know there are strong sales of comics in France and I want to understand the French market a little bit better? So we can see this kind of younger audience skew in comparison to what we saw in the US and Canada. And we have a different look at job title. We know this is a younger audience, so that may be less important to us than something like Pages Liked. So Japan Expo, one of the largest comic festivals in France, celebrating Japanese culture. This might be a place where you want to have a trade booth or have some type of presence for your titles. I would also look at this for bloggers or other influencers that you might do some influencer marketing or co-marketing around the pages liked, help me think about ways that I might position a title or what other things this audience likes so I can use the same kind of tone of voice that's going to resonate with this audience. The location information is really helpful if I am trying to look for an audience in a new market. And again, the activity, this is gonna tell me whether my audience is gonna be compelled to click on ads or not, if they will follow or like a post, if they're going to comment or share, and what their kind of device use is. So these are some of the ways that I use Facebook Audience Insights as a way to hack my marketing research. I'm Minik from Boxcar Marketing and that's your tip for today. Thanks, bye.